I'm Cheryl and welcome to my channel. Today we're jumping back into choices. We're gonna be starting High School Story book two because we just finished book one and I was really ready to just immediately start playing the next one because I kind of didn't want to wait any longer. <laughs> we're all cool with that. So I'm gonna already jump in and go ahead and click play. Oh, there's all my friends. Oh, winter season. I'm actually so excited for this. It looks like you've already played High School Story book one. We've saved your choices and can carry them over to book two. Would you like to play book two with those saved choices? We're gonna say yes, remember my choices. We want the story to continue exactly how it would from those choices. I would like to keep my current name, right? That would be, yes, I'd like to rename Shelby Grace. No, I would like to keep my current name. Choice saved. Your choices will now carry over to book two. Would you like to change your gender? No, I will continue as a girl. Would you like to change your face? I'd like to look at some new faces, actually. Oh, it's all the same ones. I didn't like my character face. I we're just, all right, we're just keeping our look, I guess. Oh, ooh, new outfit. <gasps> Make a statement, turn heads in the new year with this stylish blazer and bold statement necklace. I'm a sophomore. I'm not gonna go to school in a suit. Oh. <gasps> Sweet or tough? The answer is yes. That's me. Is so adorable, but ready to fight anybody at any given second. Okay, so we have new free options as well because it is winter season, so we want to have a jacket. This is actually really nice. I'm not going to lie. Perfect for those cold January days. Or we have, no, Cardi Cutie again. Okay, and then the usual, but they did give us a new option. You may notice I bought gems. I bought a lot of gems because you save money when you buy them all in bulk at the front page of the app, but they don't let you access that part when you're in the story, so they only let you buy tiny amounts at a time mid-story. So, I went ahead and bought 276 stars. We're gonna go ahead and buy the sweet and tough outfit because that just really fully resembles us, I feel like. We look good, we look mm, perfect. Chapter one, breaking news. Oh yeah, the principal. <gasps> The doorbell rings and you step out on the front porch. Well, this is a surprise. <gasps> a good one, I hope. He looks exactly the same. I was hoping like maybe some changes, maybe a little like little tweaks here and there, little updates to our character choices and, and options, but no. Of course, your group of friends have crowded onto the porch shivering in the cold. Happy last day of winter break. What are you all doing here? Did your dad not tell you about? I really wanted to throw one last get together before winter break ended. I ran into your dad at the store the other day and he offered to host. That explains why he's been cleaning all day. Now, can we go inside? I don't know about you, but I'm freezing my butt off out here. Your friends follow you to your room and lounge around. You sit next to Michael and everyone else finds a space where they can. Oh, she looks so cute in her winter. You know, I'm glad it's finally just the nine of us hanging out instead of like the entire school. Yeah, just me and my eight friends. Just our small group of nine people. We should plan more of these. Oh, like our movie marathons at the end of last quarter. That would be so much fun. This is already way better than my dad's house over break. I know you two don't get along, but you had some fun over winter break, right? A little, I guess. I'm just happy you're back in town. Emma wraps an arm around Lou. So somebody told me that it's Louise. Like they wrote it out phonetically so that I knew how to say it. And they said that it's said Louise. But then when I did that, that last episode, everyone was like, no, it's Louis. Like how I had been saying it. So now I don't know, so I'm going back to Louis. Resting your head on his shoulder. Yes, yes, we're all happy Emma's back, but there's an even bigger issue we need to talk about. What's the deal with you and Michael? We are sitting right here. Uh. Michael locks eyes with you for a brief moment before looking away, embarrassed. Oh yeah, are you guys official? Not official? Casually dating? We're both sitting right here. This is rude. All I can say is we're taking things slow. We're both very happy. It's complicated. Well, you guys didn't see the scene that I saw last time, so they're definitely not moving slow. I can just say that. We're both happy. I think that that's fair and that's true. I couldn't agree more. Oh, just make it official already. You guys ready for the new quarter? Definitely. Basketball season is gonna be awesome. I hope we can pull off a win against Hearst this year. Cheer has your back. Me and I have been working on some awesome routines for the competition this quarter. We're gonna look amazing. Is this what you guys do on dates? Maybe not all of it. Well, I, for one, am looking forward to concert band. Why, because it's not that hard? It may not be physically demanding, but the music is much more challenging. You switching to basketball too, Michael? Ha, 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 <laughs> heck no. Even if I wanted to, I suck at basketball. He's not lying. We played basketball in gym last quarter and he couldn't even do a layup. I wish I could stick with cheer this quarter. Why can't you? You were amazing on the team last quarter. I'm too busy, unfortunately. But don't let that stop you, Shelby. What are you doing this quarter? Choose your activity wisely. This decision will last for the rest of the book. 
It's all the same options, except I now have the option for basketball instead of football. I think I want to keep going with cheer. That it was an interesting choice. We almost were on the football team, and I thought that was kind of cool. Although, you know, basketball sounds, kind of sounds fun. Do we want to, like, change things up and see what happens? I'm feeling bold. I want to be on the basketball team. Oh god, that's forever. You should have seen it. Shelby was a beast during tryouts before break. I thought a change of pace would be good. You've been pretty quiet, Maria. I assume you've got winter formal all planned out. Oh, I'm not on the winter formal committee this year. That's all Peyton. Who are you and what have you done with Maria? I'm still me, Caleb. I've just got other plans this quarter. She's someone who goes to school in a blazer. You're looking at your new anchor for the Berry High Morning Announcements. Principal Hughes approved the funding for new video equipment, a recording studio, all the works. So I'm guessing that scene that we saw last time is going to happen. It hasn't happened yet for this book. Wow, Maria, that's fantastic. Congrats. Gonna be a lot of work. Great news. Get it. Oh no. I'm gonna go with the pun. Yeah, I got it, Shelby. <laughs> I'm glad my other team member isn't like this. Who's helping you out? Maria puts her hands on Michael's shoulders. <gasps> Meet the cameraman for Tiger News. Michael, you've got to be kidding me. Afraid not. It's Hugh's latest idea for punishment. What did you do now? I ditched lunch last quarter to go to Admiral Burger. How many times? Like seven or eight times last December. Cafeteria food doesn't cut it for me. Shelby, you're welcome to help us out tomorrow if you want. Thanks, I'll drop by the studio in the morning. Just then your dad pokes his head into your room. Oh good, everyone's made it for the party. A little warning would have been nice. And ruin this surprise? Never! Now if you all hurry to the kitchen, you're in for a delicious treat. I made some of my famous hot chocolate. Monday morning. You're fast asleep in bed when you feel a gentle tap on your shoulder. Shelby bear, wakey wakey. You know they say the early bird gets the worm. You crack your eyes open to see your dad standing beside your loft bed. You roll your eyes as you climb down the ladder. Excited for your first day back? Well, I'm looking forward to classes. I still hate Mondays. I can't wait to see Michael. You know, we're already dating him, so I kinda, you know what? We should focus on ourselves, this book. I still hate Mondays. I like my friends and everything, but why do we have to go back on a Monday? Anyway, I'll get out of your hair. You don't wanna be late picking up Michael. I drive. Your dad leaves your room. You turn to your closet and throw on an outfit. I'm not just throwing on an outfit. I am in a leather jacket and a red dress. I look good. First day of winter quarter, here I come. Soon you've picked Michael up and are driving to school. What kind of car? What kind of car? Ooh, I don't know what this is. Thanks for driving, Shelby. I'm always happy to. Besides, it gives us a bit more alone time. You know, it looks like we have a little time before school actually starts. We can grab a latte or something at Coffee Express before class. It'd be nice to catch up, you know, just the two of us. Oof, I'm gonna have to pay for it though. Michael's hand lightly brushes against yours. You catch Michael's smile out of the corner of your eye. We already have the diamonds because I already bought them earlier. I'm gonna say that I'd love to. I'll still throw an ad in here though. A few minutes later, you arrive at Coffee Express. You and Michael sit on the comfy love seat in the corner, surrounded by the aroma of freshly ground coffee beans. This was a great idea, Michael. I'm glad it's got the Shelby stamp of approval. Were you worried I'd be against it? With you, anything's possible. Michael holds your hand absent-mindedly, running his thumb across your knuckles. He's doing the thumb thing. I missed this. Just the two of us hanging out. I wish I could have seen your face more over break. You always cheer my day up with that smile. I feel the same way around you. You scoop closer to Michael. His breath quickens as you playfully walk your fingers up his arm. You're dangerous, you know that. Michael looks around the coffee shop before whispering in a low, husky voice. I'm actually looking forward to morning announcements. And get this. School too. Really? You're going soft on me, Michael? Never. I still despise some parts like English, history, cafeteria food, and blah, blah, blah. But something's changed about Very High, and it makes me, I don't know, hopeful about what's to come. I think you're the reason why it's so much better. You lean against Michael's shoulder. It means a lot to hear you say that, but do me a favor. Let's keep this between us. I'm not ready for everyone to know I actually enjoy school. I've got a reputation to keep up. Keep this between us. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Oh no, we're shouting this from the rooftops. I'm not gonna do that. If he wants to keep it a secret, I'll keep it a secret. A man's reputation is all he has. Well, almost. You squeeze Michael's hand reassuringly. He slinks an arm around your waist and pulls you close to him. With your back pressed up against his chest, Michael kisses the top of your head. Thanks, Shelby. I appreciate it. You should know by now, you can trust me. You lean back and peer at Michael. A mischievous smile creeps across your face. What happens if I do this? 
Kiss Michael or Tickle Michael? I don't like tickling, so I'm just gonna not do that to him either. You throw your arms around his neck and kiss Michael. He's shocked at first, but runs his hand through your hair, kissing you back. This is gonna get way too steamy, way too fast. You begin to lose yourself to the moment as he kisses you again and again. Then suddenly, a loud cough from across the shop brings you back to the moment. Michael pulls back, grinning from ear to ear. You feel yourself blushing. You know, we should probably get going. You sure I can't convince you otherwise? He leans down and brushes his lips again. We're in public. Sorry, Michael, but I don't think Maria would be too happy if we're both late today. After a short car ride, how early do you think Maria was here this morning? Depends, what time does the school open? I don't know, 6.30? I bet she got here at 6 then. But we better get a move on before Maria sends a search party. You go ahead, I need to swing by my locker first. You open your locker and stick your packed lunch on the top shelf. All right, time to help out with the morning announcements. Oh, just then, Vice Principal Issa comes strutting down the hallway. Her heels click loudly on the tiled floor. Shelby Grace! Oh God. You shouldn't be dawdling in the hallway. I'll write you up for tardiness. But Vice Principal Issa, the bell hasn't even rung. Just then, the school bell rings loudly. Watch out, children! You look past Issa and see... <laughs> Principal Hughes roller skating down the hallway. A student jumps out of her way at the last second. Principal Hughes? She skids to a stop beside Issa and takes in the scene. Good morning, Shelby. I trust you and your little friend's break were splendiferous. My break was fantastic. My break could have been better. What's with the skates? I kind of want to know what is with the skates. Oh, these old things? They were a gift from my secret admirer. You gotta live while you're young, Shelby. And as I've heard the big kids say in the hallways, YOLO. Right on, Principal Hughes. Ahem, Principal Hughes. We were in the middle of something. Don't let me harsh your mellow. That's what the kids are saying these days, right? Anyway, Shelby, you'll report to detention during lunch today for your tardiness. What? Come on, Issa, it's the first day back. Lighten up. You don't have to go to detention, Shelby. Just do me a favor and enjoy your day. Will do, Principal Hughes. Hughes roller skates down the hallway, leaving you with Issa. You glance up to see her glaring at you. You have three seconds to get out of my sight. Three, two, Bye! <laughs> you run down the hallway without a second glance back. You soon enter the spare room in the library and see it has been transformed into a new recording studio. Maria is busy shuffling papers at the anchor desk while Michael fiddles with the camera. Whoa, this is... Dang. Fancy, right? I can't believe Hughes approved the funding for all of this. Issa was a huge supporter. She agreed that the students are entitled to a daily dose of news. Besides, this will look great on my college applications. I single-handedly orchestrated the first Berry High newscast. So how can I help out? I really would love it if you could guest star as my co-anchor, but I need you to dress the part. You have to look sharp for the morning. Announcements. What? Do I not look sharp? I'm wearing a dress. Marie hands you a blazer and a set of clothes. I didn't want the blazer. Here, these are the color palette and style I'm going for. If you want in, put these on and let's go. I'm already wearing red. Wear the on-air outfit to guest star on the morning announcements, influence the format of the show, and increase your school spirit. What is the color palette? She was wearing red. Or I can wear... Watch the newscast in my regular clothes. Well, that's just no fun. This looks great and all, but like, I looked better before. We're gonna buy the item. I'm ready for my close-up. I knew you'd look great in that. You'll be perfect as my co-anchor now. It's almost showtime. We still have so much to do. Michael, I'm leaving the tech side of things in your hands. So no funny business, no goofing off, or anything that's not your job. Shelby, follow me. It's a pretty easy setup. Just read from the teleprompter. Feel free to ad-lib a little, but don't deviate too far. And then at the end, I'll hand it off to you for the weather. Weather? I'm the weather person? Oh, I almost forgot. I want to add some fun flair to the top of the announcements. Maybe you can help me out. Well, I was thinking of having a holiday of the day. You won't believe what crazy holidays people celebrate. Or we could do a fun on this day fact and give the people a historical event from the same day in the past. Lastly, I also considered doing animal of the day. There are so many animals with interesting facts about them. I would only choose animal of the day if they were actually bringing the animals into the school. I kind of want to do holiday of the day because that just kind of sounds more fun. On this day, nobody wants to know any more history than they have to in school. So I think I want to do holiday of the day. Perfect. I think this will really spice up the show. One minute till we're live. That's so soon. You've got this. We've got this. Everything grows quiet except for Michael's countdown. We're on in five, four. You take one last deep breath. Three, two. 
A red light appears above the camera and Maria begins reading off the teleprompter. Good morning, Barry High. It's 8 a.m. on Monday and time for your Tiger announcements. I'm your host, Maria Flores. And I'm Shelby Grace. And I'm Shelby. It's the start of a new quarter, so we're introducing a fun new segment, Holiday of the Day. My fellow students, I wish you all a very happy bubble bath day. So when you get home, be sure to fend off the cold with a steaming sudsy bath. What a great way to celebrate the holiday and relax. Exactly, I know what I'm doing tonight. And now for our headlines. Shelby, when you go to lunch today, you may see some Jurassic changes in the cafeteria. That's right, we now have dinosaur-shaped chicken tenders, thanks to Principal Hughes. It's going to be dynamite. Oh, no. Speaking of Principal Hughes, she'll be sponsoring a roller skating race around the gym later this week. Whoever wins will receive a voucher to Roller in the Deep Rink, located near the mall. You can sign up to compete on the board outside her office. And while you're there, be sure to check out the practice schedules for all after-school activities on the opposite wall. Whether you're a basketball player, cheerleader, musician, or chess club member, they didn't let me choose chess club. Rooms and schedules are now up. It may be the start of the quarter, but it's not too early to be thinking about winter formal. Be sure to save the date. Tickets will be on sale before you know it. How's the weather looking outside, Shelby? Brr. <laughs> it is cold outside. You're looking at snow for the rest of your week with a high of 33 degrees Fahrenheit. So remember, cozy up with that someone special. Winter is coming. Wear your sunscreen. I'm going to say cozy up with that someone. No, I don't want to. I don't want to make anyone feel bad who doesn't have someone special. But also that could mean your best friend, your parents, your pet. I'm going to choose your special someone because that could be anyone. Winter is all about keeping warm and spending time with that person you like. I'm looking at you. She did not say that out loud. I'm looking at you, Michael. You blow Michael a kiss next to the camera. He winks at you. Thanks, Shelby, for that very steamy report. And before we sign off for the day, suddenly the red light above the camera goes out. You look at the live feed on the monitor and see the video has cut to footage of the football field. Michael, what did you do? It wasn't me. Michael starts tinkering with the control board, trying to get the signal back. You turn your focus to the hijacked show. Guys, what is this? The footage shows Principal Hughes and Coach Burke underneath the football bleachers making out. Oh, Burke, why didn't we do this before? I never knew you were such a good kisser, Miss Hughes. Ooh. Oh no, I'm not reading that. Michael yanks the plug for the broadcasting system out of the wall before you're forced to see anything else. Principal Hughes and Coach Burke? I think I'm gonna be sick. This is what teachers do? I ship it. I mean, hey, why not? <laughs> what? I always thought they'd make a cute couple. Score one for the good guys. I definitely didn't want to consider this possibility. Let teachers exist in their own world. Leave me out of it. Maria stands up from the news desk and marches up to Michael, getting right in his face. Can you explain to me why you let this rogue footage define my first show? It's not my fault. I wasn't allowed to implement an extra firewall. I bet you wanted this to happen. You're only here because of your stupid punishment. Maybe if we never had morning announcements, we would have just completely skipped this. Maria, it's not Michael's fault. Michael, you should have stopped this. Both of you, calm down. He couldn't do anything. He, there was literally nothing he could do. He pulled the plug out as soon as he thought to do that. I want to tell both of them to calm down. I've had enough from both of you. Maria, there's no way Michael played that footage. Exactly. But Michael should have put up that extra security in the first place. That's not what I was going to say. He did great. He did a great job. What's done is done. Come on, it's not the end of the world, is it? Is it the end of her principal -ness? The next morning. You're in homeroom, talking to your friends as you wait for the morning announcements to start. Wait, Shelby, shouldn't you be helping Maria out with the Tiger News? It's odd, but she didn't ask me back for today. Although after what happened, I don't blame her. Yeah, I heard Hughes refused to come out of her office yesterday. That's not exactly how you want your relationship to come out. Poor Principal Hughes. Poor Coach Burke, too. He canceled basketball practice yesterday because of it. What about today? I don't know. I haven't seen... Quiet, class! Everyone turns around in their seats as the announcements begin on the TV screen. Maria appears on the screen. She looks downcast as she clutches her script in front of her. Good morning, Barry High. It's 8.05 on Tuesday, and it's time for your Tiger announcements. I'm your host, Maria Flores, and I'm sad to say this will be my second and final show. For our last holiday of the day, I wish you a happy Word Nerd Day with the word bittersweet. Because I'm happy to bring you this newscast, but devastated it ended so soon. After yesterday's events, this show will be taken over by our new principal, Principal Isa. The camera pans over to Principal Isa. 
a stern smile appearing across her face. Good morning, Barry High. I'm afraid to announce that Principal Hughes has resigned suddenly. The school board has elected that I take her place. Together we'll usher in a new era to this marvelous school. Brace yourselves, because there are going to be some changes. Is that where they're going to end it? <gasps> no! Next time on High School Story, you and your friends discover what changes Principal Issa has in store. And it's time for practice to begin. And we earned two diamonds to earn to our giant pile of 230. Oh no, with Principal Issa in charge, will Barry High ever be the same? Find out next time! And leave a like if you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!